What's up everybody and welcome back to A Beer A Day with TK. I hope you enjoyed the last video that I put up. Um, Anderson and I went on a little road trip down the Urban Woody Brewery in Faustoria, Ohio. Um, had a wonderful time, met with the owners and the brewing team. It was a really great experience. So check it out. If you're ever in the area, check out the Urban Woody. It's a really great little place. Um, the beer that I'm going to try today is Kentucky Vanilla Barrel Cream Ale. Now, I've done a couple of the Kentucky Bourbon Barrel beers before. For the most part, I would say that I like them. I think they're pretty solid. Uh, that being said, I get not everything works in bourbon barrels. Dark beer, stuff like that, quite like. Um, even ales, for the most part. So I'm kind of interested to see how the cream ale is in the bourbon barrel. So this is from the Lexington Brewing and Distilling Company. Um, and it says that they leave the beer in the cast for a minimum of two months. So this is just going to be cream ale, essentially that has been left in a bourbon cask for two months. Comes in at 5.5% ABV. Um, as far as ratings, gets really good ratings. Untapped was a 385, Beer Advocate a 387. Um, the, the average score there was an 87, a very good. So 22 IBUs, 5.5% ABV. See if we have anything else interesting on here. Looks like it's made with Centennial Hops. I think that's what it says at the top here. It's hard to tell. They tend to use a lot of the font on the, the color of the band, which makes it somewhat difficult to read. This is like gold on yellow, so it's a little hard for me to pick it up. Uh, but they're out of Lexington, Kentucky, obviously. Let's give it a shot. I'm going with the Bowling Green Beer Works glass today. As the color, kind of a yellowish orange, kind of, I guess, a bit of an amber color to it there. Um, fair amount of carbonation. Looks pretty clear. I can see through it quite nicely. I guess the logo there is distracting. I can see through nicely. Head, looks like you probably got at least one finger of white head. Um, don't look the greatest, but it looks okay. It looks pretty solid. The nose is sweet. You pick up the vanilla right away. Maybe a little bit of like sweet corn too, like that corn smell. But it's pretty heavy vanilla. You can pick up the vanilla um, immediately, honestly. All right, let's give it a shot. Cheers. First off, it's a little lighter body than I thought it would be. Um, definitely tastes sweet. You pick up like the, the sweet kind of malt. You definitely pick up some vanilla sweetness. Um, and you definitely pick up at the end kind of the, the whiskey barrel taste, I guess that like oaky taste or whatever it is from the barrels. Yeah, it's not a bad beer. Um, like I said, pretty smooth, pretty creamy. You could probably drink a few of these, 5.5% ABV. And honestly, I think it tastes more than that because my brain picks up that uh, the cask taste from the, the bourbon barrels. And I always think like, uh oh, here we go. It's a 12% stout or something like that. And with this, it really is. It's just 5.5. Um, so I guess this is quite drinkable and somewhat sessionable, I guess, depending on where your limits are. Um, Kentucky Vanilla Barrel Cream Ale. You get a thumbs up. I would drink another one of these. Um, I think most of the ones they've done that I've had so far in the bourbon barrels are, are pretty solid. And this is another one. I wasn't sure how it would go with the cream ale, but I actually like this one. So thumbs up. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. And as always, if you have any comments or questions, jump in down below. If you've had this or some of the other variants, let me know which one's your favorite. Hey, cheers.